Members of Children's Parliament from across Scotland have been exploring children's rights in AI. Last year, we identified four key themes to focus on this year. Fairness and bias, safety and security, AI in education, and learning about AI. Across the project, we worked with AI experts and artists to find out about these themes and express our views. We had representatives in Glasgow, Edinburgh, Shetland and Stirling. In Glasgow, we had a session on our rights with safety and security in AI with Digital Skills Education, a company that makes education resources about technology. We did rotoscoping with local artist Zeo to show how we were feeling about safety and security in AI. What we are doing was making backgrounds and choosing characters for making like a video and then we were like just practicing to get recorded. We were writing about all feelings and emotions. So my group chose uh, confused, energetic and thoughtful. We've been talking about the safety and like personal things that you shouldn't really like share with others and then things that you can share with others. Bank details, mm. medical records maybe. Like passwords and phone numbers. Yeah. Straighten everything you'd share with like, you know, people around you. Like stuff you would share with like friends and family. What do you want to Those are data set with like websites and ID numbers and it surprised me how like websites can get that much information because even Google knows your location because of Google Maps and that. There should be a rule on like websites like how much information they should gather like they can't gather your name, age but they can if it's like for a good reason so only trusted websites should be able to like Google. In Edinburgh, we learn about AI in education with some researchers from the University of Edinburgh. Yesterday, while we were in the room, as it's called a time portal, we were making our own robots, and me and Callie were in the same group. We made a bot called Jimmy Jr. We didn't have to make robots, but we made like something with AI. Yeah and it could involve anything that you wanted, so kind of a box. Our learning AI is a translator that can translate any languages. So you can speak to anybody who is from a foreign country and doesn't know English. It supports non-discrimination and the right to be listened, be listened to. to. John can help you with a lot of things. Like, for example, you can, can give you a hug, like, yeah, it has a hug button at the back. And oh. it has a help button if you need help with anything, but he doesn't give you the answer, he just explains uh, it to you. So if someone doesn't know something at all, it can help them because you have the right to a good education. We worked with the Science Kaylee to create a performance about how we felt about how AI is used in education. it can sometimes ruin the education. Like, if you need a, quite a lot of time to like say an answer because you kind of don't get it, it just says it for you and that's not really fair. And it's kind of good as well because like if the AI gets to know you more, it can sometimes know how you can feel. But if it doesn't get to know you or knows a bit about you, then probably not.
instantly we explored fairness and bias in AI. We worked with some people from Glasgow University and doctors from the NHS to help them with their plans to use AI to help diagnosis. We did a doctor's role, so we had to like pretend to get a role play. Mm -hmm. We had a fluffy toy to be the child. Yeah. <laughs> so that was almost like before we started talking about the AI, um, it was like to kind of give us the experience of and actually being at the doctors and then to compare that with how we felt AI would have, you know, done it. Afterwards. So basically it was like having experience of a human doing it and then you had an, not the same experience, but you had what it would be like if AI was doing it, like a computer. I didn't actually know that doctors were starting to use AI to help patients. I think it, it helps, helps because it would be quite good for AI systems to be able to recognise and diagnose stuff quickly. The good things might be in like, um, it'll ha do it faster because uh, computers have more processing power. And one of the bad things is um, you don't know how accurate it is. You haven't programmed this computer. You don't know what it's going to do. We created music with the sound artist I to show how we felt about fairness and bias and AI. We got put into groups and you get to make your own instruments to play this sound. I turned it around and I actually like pinged it and then I thought, oh, I had to make some like sound. And then we went down to the PE hall and we recorded them. In Shetland, we thought about how AI is used in education with Maria from an organisation called Silicon Croft. We made signs with local artist Jono to show how we were feeling about it. My favourite part of yesterday was that we did craft. We did different things about AI to, to fix problems with weather. Shetland, there's been a lot of snow recently and we were trying to come up with AI robotics that could um, help save stuff. Me, me and my group made a pig flyer, something really random yeah. with a purple guy on a pig which is on hoverboard <laughs> and it fixes power lines. <laughs> <laughs> and my group made a thing based on schools and health where it was a machine that made homeschooling dedicated to the children so that they could do homework when it's snow days. We're making things about um, a key message and we're putting them on a sign and, to, and put ink on that in, in a printing press. Those signs are going to have what we think on them and we're doing ink press on little plywood cardboard sheets and my one says children need to know because I think that children need to know about AI because it can get out of control and that's what we have been learning about today and we have been making signs to show the children's parliament what we think. It's not always bad. It's in the middle. It can be good. Yeah, it can, can be bad. good and yeah. Because lots of people just think of the bad things about it, but there's more to it. They should know that AI is like something to help them, to help them learn. But sometimes the children have to know that their privacy would could be shown to public, like to anyone. That's like one of the most important parts of it. We don't keep your privacy your safe. Yeah. I'd want to be asked if my personal data was used for something because it is kind of personal and you might want to just keep it to yourself. Just because we're children doesn't mean we don't know what we're talking about, doesn't mean that we don't understand. This isn't just some fantasy, this is, this is real life. We know what we're talking about because we've learned.
So that's why our voices need to be heard as well, because sometimes it's only us that are trying and only us that are listening. We need to be heard. We may, we may be tiny and very <laughs> small, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean we have a tiny brain. If you're tiny and you're a kid, don't be afraid to share your thoughts. Because they matter. And just because you're little doesn't mean you don't understand, doesn't mean that you aren't as important. It means that you can cooperate too and that you can get in with this and help. Because this is, this is serious because AI has to be understood properly and has to be taken very seriously to make sure that nothing goes wrong.